swear to God, you're a living meme, Hellboy. I, would you rather me be anything else? Absolutely not. Good. Oh, well, I, a leg just went in my lamp. Oh, well, fuck. I'm sorry yep. to hear that. Oh, good. no, it's fine. It's just a build a figure leg. I don't even have that figure finished yet. You do model kits? Uh, I do model kits on occasion, but I mainly just collect build a figures from the Marvel Legends waves. I'm not that into Marvel Legends. <laughs> They're all right. I mean, it's, if you're looking for an affordable, extremely posable Marvel figure, just go for a Marvel Legends. Not really my thing. I'm a DC. Uh, well, see, here's the thing. I like DC, but the recent event that they had about a year ago has kind of put me off. Oh, do you they, mean do you mean the uh, Dark Knight's Metal event? No, 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 Dark Knight Metal was cool as shit. I like that. I'm talking about, and this is an Earth Prime event, so this is canon. Milk Wars. What? Milk Wars. Milk Wars? What What does that mean? Yeah, let, let that sink in for a moment. Let okay. that sink in for a moment. The two words, milk and wars, together. What do you think of... Uh... A Dairyman-sponsored DC event? No! Well, you're close, but no! <laughs> so... Basically, I was staying at my grandparents for like a couple days because we just had the flooring redone. We had everything ripped up, and now we have hardwood floor. So I had to stay with them for a couple days. I had to stay with the dog. I had to move the cat there, and I, you know, brought my Xbox and shit. Well, the first night that I slept there, I watched a comic story and video on a Deadpool thing. It was like when there was a Lady Deadpool, but not Lady Deadpool. She was just a super fan that like cobbled together his dead body parts, which eventually made anti-pool but that's another story so i watched that and because of that youtube's algorithm picked up that i'm a comic story and fan so i wake up after i get done finishing or after i get done messaging monstrous or if i get done messaging a couple of other people i look at my youtube recommended and the first thing i see for viewers that watch comic story and the dc event milk wars okay <laughs> the title Okay, the fuck is a Milk Wars? That's what I'm getting to. The title had me thrown the fuck off. I mean, because... obviously, it's titled Milk Wars. Oh, Kichi, can I, I you hear me now? It was just going to be some like little tiny parody event, but no, it was actually a huge DC J JLA Doom Patrol crossover event. And the thumbnail had me fucking crying. The thumbnail had Superman, but he was dressed like a milkman. And then there was Batman, but book. he was under the pseudonym Bat Priest and was dressed like a priest. And Wait, why then, is Batman a priest? Why is I have no why idea. Is, why is Clark explain. a why is Clark a milkman? Why is I, Bruce suddenly? I, I'm getting to that. <laughs> I'm getting to that, but you're not even going to understand it when I explain. it. And then the, the, the thing that, like, covers 90% of the thumbnail is Wonder Woman bathing in milk. Uh... I know, I know, I know. And it's exactly how it sounds. Okay, so, like, you... Out of, <laughs> I'm out gonna of put a more... Curiosity. No, I'm going to put a moratorium on this for now. Because, like, <laughs> we have an actual thing to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to detract from that. We just didn't hear anything from Monstrous and Leo, so I thought I'd put something out there. No, until it's they fine. No, no, you're super chill. I just, like, there are people asking questions. Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, um... Well, here's what happened. Uh, there's this dude, or... Yeah, there's this dude who goes by Sly Fox, who I've covered on my channel a couple of times. He's a predator, he's a creep. I, I, I recently was able to acquire evidence that he looks at IRL child porn, which I'm going to be passing to the police. Uh, he's a fucking psychopath, basically. He's incredibly dangerous. Do not talk to him. 
Do not associate with him. He is a monster. Um, he's not just a psychopath. He's a fucking sociopath. When I was working on exposing Sly and confronting him after he agreed to put himself in a mental hospital and then didn't actually do it, uh, this person, the person currently in the thumbnail, uh, Fluffy After Dark, Purple Universe, Fluff, uh, Fluffy's Purple Two Jubilance. Cents, Purple Jubilance, whatever the fuck you want to call her. Uh, her real name is Maria. That's public information. It's on the white pages, so it's not doxing. But Maria, she came Both to me. Twitter, so. She came to me for information about Sly Fox. I passed it to her, and then I found out that she, in the past, had defended him. I accused her of being a pedophile enabler. There was a huge drama about it. I conceded that I didn't have enough evidence, and it was wrong of me to go after her without substantial evidence to prove one way or another. The truth is, she just doesn't understand the law at all. She's very ignorant about, like, what is and is not legal. Oh, ignorance undermining it, but yeah, go for it. Like, she's definitely ignorant. Uh, I don't think that she's dangerous, but I do think that she's a jackass. Yeah, um, that's what we're here to talk about, how much of a jackass we are. She, at one point, tried to get Ponder Sprocket, for those of you who know who Ponder Sprocket is, also known as the artist Empty Brook, to go after me. Brooke mediated a discussion between me, Monstrous, some of the has been a hotel fan cord staff, and Fluffy. And we came, we came to an agreement that Monstrous and I would leave Fluffy alone so long as Fluffy stopped talking about us and left us alone. Within 24 hours, Fluffy violated the ceasefire. And Ponder agrees with me on that. I have brought Ponder the evidence, the screenshots specifically, and she agrees with me that... Fluffy violated the ceasefire first, which throws our agreement into the fucking garbage. If she can't keep her mouth shut about me, I have a right to defend myself. And ever since then, Fluffy has accused me of enabling a child being exposed to child pornography, harassment, being a zoophile... Fluffy has basically directly inserted herself into every drama about me over the past month. And it is exhausting. This That's bitch... That's because you're her newest obsession. I warned you about that. <sighs> Fucking friend. I go on for hours. <laughs> and this, little, this little gremlin... Like, is defending Buttons, Christiana, Christiana Lee Boone, the one who has stolen a total of $2,500 in GoFundMe money from multiple people. Whoa, what? That's news to me. Well, Buttons ran a GoFundMe for someone else and then stole the money that was raised. Oh. And I, oops. And convinced people to set up four different GoFundMes, four buttons, and lied about the reason it was there. Oh Including me. God. Buttons convinced me to set up a $500 GoFundMe to raise money to replace the light bulbs that got burglarized from their fucking trailer. Like... I don't know why I fucking believed that cunt. Uh, oh, I have my own gripes with Button or Eden or whatever you want to call them, but I'll get to that later. No, you can get to it now if you want. Because Fluffy is well, actively you know, yeah. defending Eden, so go ahead. You know, I might as well get to it now, because when Monstrous and Leo hop on, they're going to have to talk about Fluffy. Because while... Fluffy and I have our own beef. I'm not directed. I, I'm not directly involved with everything that's happened in the past month and a half. 
Like, Fluffy has completely avoided me at all stops because they are completely butt fuck afraid of me. So, ah. but I can tell my own personal experiences with Eden and how pissed off I was at everything. You see, Eden has been in the has been community since I've been in the has been community. They have consistently been helpful, I guess, in outing some terrible fucking people in the community. But at the same time, they're very manipulative with everyone, uh, including me. They took my good nature and kind of abused it. And I didn't realize it until the last days they were in the fan court and bun squad. Eden, I always considered them like a daughter because when I first joined the community, they're one of those people that just latched to me and that I was very close to. And then their true colors kind of started showing towards the end of the line as the fluffy shit happened and the sly shit happened. Because they went into my DMs, you know, they were trying to ask what was going on. And obviously I wasn't telling them shit. They were, they were trying to insert themselves on the slide drama a while ago, but they backed off. So well, I didn't yeah, no, that's it. Buttons. Buttons likes to insert themselves into any drama they can. Did I tell you about how oh, they yeah. tried to sell somebody's nudes to the owner of Kiwi Farms? Excuse me, what? Do you know who Excuse Mum... Me, you back that up a little bit? Do you know what? who... Do you know who Lou the Kitty is? The name sounds familiar, but Monkey I'm not Jones's pedophile sure. mistress. The 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 the, yeah, the Okay. Yeah, I remember now. Buttons got their hands on some of Lou the Kitty's nudes and tried to sell them to Null, the guy who owns Kiwi Farms. You're shitting me. No, Null confirmed it. Aren't they a fucking minor? Buttons? Yeah, I thought Eden was like 16. Eden is 21! What? Yeah! This is all like the fucking news to me because they were telling me that they were 15, 16 when we met. No, Buttons is a grown adult. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have any proof that they lied about their age? Because I could really use... I, I, I know a certain... Yeah, I would have to dig through my DMs, and if not that bun squad, but yeah, I, I can get you proof later that they lied in their DMs. Oh, thank you, dude. That would be so appreciated. Oh! Ooh, this is all fucking... Ooh. No, now but... I'm more pissed. This is all brand new to me. This is news. This no, is fucking... no. Eden is a grown fucking adult. <coughs> wow. Fucking wow. Yeah, no. The first time that we ever met was when I joined Bun Squad. And I said that if anybody needed to vent to me, they can talk to me. And Eden whipped in and we're like, sup, I'm 16. I'm having boyfriend troubles. Can you please talk to me about this and give me some advice? <laughs> oh, that boyfriend the, troubles? That, that's you why mean... I consider them my daughter. Um, Boyfriend Troubles probably is talking about how everyone called out uh, Ichabod Buttons' as boyfriend for being an orbiter. What's an orbiter? Uh, someone who grooms underage girls so that they can be perfect wives for them uh, when they're an adult. What? Basically, Ichabod had this girl, this underage girl named yeah, Emily. I get, what you're, I get what you're saying. I understand it. It's just... That's fuck. Yeah, no. Yeah, Buttons is dating an orbiter, and their older brother is a child molester that they actively refuse to turn into. They the said that their boyfriend was 17. No, Ichabod is like almost 30 and has a son. No! What? Yeah, no, oh Ica Ichabod God. is like an adult, and he has children and a wife. Has a fucking wife and kids? Yeah, he's uh, polyamorous, so they have like an open relationship thing. Okay, I can understand polyamory because I'm in a polyamorous relationship. But what? Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, in addition, 
Ichabod is a deadbeat who uses the fact that he has terminal cancer as an excuse to not be involved in his child's life. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. No, all of this he, is public he information. He was 16 that he was 17 and they were having an argument because, and I quote, I remember this to a fucking T. She said, he's mad at me because I, I'm seeing him to be around and he says I that was one of the very first conversations I ever had with Eden and how I offered my advice saying if your boyfriend is saying that you're too clingy because you're sick you probably isn't you know the signs of a caring person oh my god yeah no everything's coming out of the closet today yeah no Eden is a grown adult and lying about their age. Very wow. much, apparently. Why would they lie about being underage, though? That's my thing. Why would they lie about that? I don't... I don't know, because they were caught ERPing with a minor. Oh! I didn't know about this, either. Yeah, it's an, it's an Alistar roleplayer on Twitter. Uh, I think Spoken Mind has a really good archive of all of it. I'll hook you up with Sarah. She's been really yeah, good at- Hook me up with that as soon as you can. You know what? I am going to get Sarah's Skype and just pass that to you. And you can use your Pepsi Man uh, account. Well, I don't- I don't have access to my Skype, but I can see if I can recover the account. It's probably linked to my email. I don't un like. I don't understand why Fluffy wants to insert themselves into literally every facet of my drama. Well, see, here's the thing. Way back when they were stalking another dude named oh, I don't know if I can drop their name, but they were stalking another dude. Okay. While they were stalking this dude, Monstrous and I had our first contact with Fluffy because they joined the fan cord. And we already got warnings from them from another user who I'm not going to mention because we don't talk anymore and I doubt they want their name said from my mouth. But uh, they started harassing them at the same time as they were harassing this dude. So Mosh just came in because they got a report from somebody saying that they were going to contact the police if Fluffy didn't back off. So Monstrous, out of the good of her heart, thought you know what, I'm going to help you out a little bit. And they tried to help them disappear off the face of the fucking earth and form a new identity of, for themselves because neither of us knew what the hell was going on. And then the person they were stalking came to them and were like, this is what's going on. So Monstrous and I decided, well, she decided, that that was enough. They banned Fluffy. And I banned them from the fan cord because they had their alt in there. Or not the fan court, but Bun Squad, and they formed an obsession with us. They're going from person to person obsessing over them, and I hate to say it, but you are their brand new obsession. Well, I'm pretty sure Leo's gonna be their new target now. Oh yeah, no, I mean, they're starting to come after you every now and then, but Leo's probably their new target now, and that's like the worst person that Fluffy can target. But yeah. That's just, that's just kind of how their behavior is. If one person gets stale. Well, no, they'll stay with another person until somebody else inserts themselves in, says, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. Then they'll obsess over that person. It's just a domino effect. They'll go after whoever. So, because you decided to come in and be like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this with Hellboy and Monstrous, now you're their primary target. Yeah. And, like, it doesn't surprise me that it took less than a day for them to fucking violate the ceasefire. That surprised nobody. Let's no one. Up. I mean, it surprised Ponder. It wasn't even 24 hours. It wasn't even 24 hours. It was an hour. An hour after y'all had your talk, they already tried. <sighs> and I still remember that fucking post. You sounded like a real creep. Um, Fluffin is a chick. Huh? Someone in the chat called Fluff and a dude. Fluff, Fluffy is a is a chick. Oh yeah. And, and uh, me... a 
a, an abusive one at that. Oh, very abusive. Horrible. Horrible. This woman spent two weeks, two fucking weeks, trying to convince people that I have a shit fetish because I told them a story of, of in my youth, when I was about like 13 fucking years old, I didn't know better when I shit in somebody's couch and because I made a comment about the color of somebody's piss on my YouTube. Wait. You having an accident on someone's couch? Oh, no, it wasn't an accident. I purposely shit in their couch. And I, yes, in. Why, there was why a would... hole that I shit in. Why did you but shit I... in the... You know what? No, we're not going to get into that right now. We're not, because I don't want to get into that. That's a private thing. All you need to know is I was getting back at them for something shitty that they did, and I thought that, that would be a good way to go about it, because I was young and didn't know better. But because of that, and because of a running gag that we have in the Bun Squad, where we constantly talk about the shade of Michael Piss because of how much Mountain Dew he drinks, and how it turns your piss from like yellow to neon yellow, and made a video about it, they took those two things and tried to convince people that I have a shit and piss fetish. And we're on it for about two fucking weeks. Let that sink in. What does it want now? Babe, there's a sink at the door. He said let that sink in. I'm Oh, 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 you were making a joke. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was a joke. No, I was. What, did you, did I cut out or something? No, no, it's fine. I just, I shouldn't have said Jess's name on stream. It was. Oh, oh, okay. Earlier when I was goofing off. Yeah, okay. I get you. Okay, well, oopsie aside. Oopsie, oopsie aside, aside, this whole thing is a fucking... So Fluffy literally spread a rumor that you had a piss and shit fetish. That's yes, an actual because thing. because of a thing that I did as a kid, and because I, there was a running joke in the honey cord that I didn't even fucking start, by the way. What's with the allegations against Maria that she was a pedophile in the past, or that she ERP'd with minors? Because of parent, and this is off secondhand stuff that I've gotten in DMs, and I'm not going to say that it's fact or anything, but apparently they have a history. Uh, their whole basis is. ERPing is a form of creative freedom. And you know this because they went on a huge fucking tangent on your Twitter, on the old Zoophile account, etc., saying the same exact thing because they're naive about how the law works. Well, apparently, they have e ERPed in the past with minors themselves. Is there any proof of this? Nobody that DM me could provide it. So I told them, unless you can give me proof, I can't take this as fact. So, All right, so this is That's more or less just something for the rumor mill. The, this is completely unconfirmed, then. All right. It's um, unconfirmed. It's, it's, not, it's not unlikely, but it's not confirmed either. Fair enough. So th but, that's just yeah, allegations Fluffy, for now. That's just fucking crazy. If you have any information about Fluffy After Dark or... Uh, Fluffy's Two Cents, Purple Universe, Purple Jubilance. If you have any information on this person potentially being a predator, I would appreciate if you came forward. Again, at the at, at present, I do not think that Purple or Fluffy is a predator, but I do think that they are ignorant to the point where you it know, is honestly, indistinguishable from malice. Either, but I wouldn't put it past them to have made some stupid decisions because they're ignorant, and it's, like, been buried somewhere. I just think... And then to catch you guys up, they're currently on My Friends and I Now because 
we've been criticizing buttons for, you know, framing me as a zoophile, ERPing with a minor, dating an orbiter. Which, by the way, none of that was fucking true. The, the fucking false allegations against me? Yeah. I was already all covered uh, by Leo, though. He did a really good video explaining all of that. And then I... Yeah, no, that's what I was about to reference. An article... You going out to smoke, honey? And again, I need to oh, apologize for any background noise no. or pop stuff. <laughs> I am packing for, you know... Just like my hoodie and want to wear it, you know? Oh, I love you. I love you, too. Me. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm just being gay every couple of minutes because I upset my wife and now I feel bad. Hey, hey, that's cool, but can you do me a favor when you get a chance? What? Can you send me your YouTube channel real quick so I can watch the stream? Oh, no, it's streaming from Twitch. Oh, it's streaming from Twitch. Then can you send me the Twitch because I actually have Twitch on my phone. Cool. Uh, where's my phone? Where'd you go? Because that way I can keep an eye on the chat and answer any questions during those quiet spells so that Where? you can go and do what you need to do. Well, I'm just being gay every now and again. Uh... And you know what? I feel that because I am fucking gay. Hey, well, hey, hey, Bernie Sanders, can you please get your fucking... Can, can you please get your street team to stop texting me? I cannot volunteer at any of your events. I use a wheelchair. Your events are not wheelchair accessible. Please stop texting me. I feel terrible every time I have to turn them down. Oh. I feel so sad. Like, I feel like a bad person for having to say, I'm sorry, but I can't volunteer for the event. I, like, literally, I, I can't walk. Well, it hurts like to walk. I feel like a bad person. That's, like, that's something that you honestly cannot control. What the fuck just happened? Did our internet die? No, the internet didn't die. Just I got kicked out of this out of the call in Discord and then put back in it on my phone. Oh. Hmm. What the fuck happened? Okay, I need to fucking... I need to turn off my phone, I think, is the problem. Why the fuck? Okay, fuck Discord. What the hell is happening? What the fuck? Hello? Patch? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. What's going on there? Discord glitched out. It kicked me out of the call and then put me in oh. the call on my phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, Discord's being a cunt. Oh, yeah. shit, that fucking sucks. Wait, no, I'm... Why did I start scrolling? It's picking up on the fucking stream. Re, what I... Really? It's okay. I, I have it to where I can only see the chat so I can answer any questions folks have. Which, cool. hi, it's me, Hell Bitch. I'm watching the chat now. I can see you guys. So, like, let's just look at some of the accusations that Fluffy is making against me right now. Accusing me of being responsible for a child exposing themselves to, uh, child porn. Uh, mm. That's not even your fault. Yeah, Bologna. Really Bologna literally lied about her age. 
Yeah. Now, granted, you guys should have done an ID check for something like that. We I did an ID that. check. Bologna what? used her mother's ID to pretend to be an adult. Oh, that's right. She literally oh, stole her mom's ID out of her purse to do it. Oh, my God. I completely forgot about that. That's like a federal crime, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. The only reason... Fuck. The only reason why no charges are being pressed is because I agreed to not press charges against Bellana for uh, damaging my company. Well, I mean, I guess good on you. If I was you, I'd have still pressed charges, but I mean, I guess I can understand where you're coming from considering they're just a kid. I don't want to put a kid in bars for being terrible. I'd rather the kid just, like, get some fucking help. Now, if it was fluffy and they kept doing it and doing it and doing it, that'd be a different story. But, you know, I, I don't know Bologna's history. Bologna, um has a long history of lying about her age. She lied to several adults uh, so that they would exchange nudes with her. Oh! Okay. She... I don't like that. She posed as a cybersecurity agent working for the government, which is I a remember crime. That. I remember that. That is like a crime crime. That's a big no-no. Big oopsie. Big fucky-wucky. Big fucky-wucky. Very big fucky, fuck. very wucky. It, it was a fucking disaster. Like, this kid. This fucking 16-year-old. Had a fake Raytheon ID. I'm pretty sure they just made it in Photoshop. Are you serious? They claimed to be an agent for uh, Raytheon, a cybersecurity agent. I remember that. It was the company that their mom worked for, and they were trying to pass it off as them, right? No, the mom doesn't work for Raytheon either. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. How the fuck? Raytheon is the company that makes cybersecurity software for school computers. And for like government employee laptops. They don't they don't do any of the things that she was claiming. Oh my fucking Christ. You're shitting me. Oh my god. I am not shitting you. Bologna lied a lot to a lot of people about a lot of things. <sighs> I have a friend whose grandfather, like, worked for Raytheon for about 20 years and was like, no, yeah, you guys got scammed. Oh, boy, this is a lot to unfucking pack I tell you. It definitely is. Okay. So, let me get this straight. This bitch doesn't even work for Raytheon. I know that they're 15. I know that as much. Their mom doesn't work for Raytheon, and they basically faked everything. Not even part of it. It wasn't even half truths. They faked everything just to get on the zoo file team to have that street cred of, I bust pedophiles. Yeah, basically. And also so they could continue to lie to other adults about their age so that they could um, basically bait people into illegally sending oh. their nudes into a Nudes to a child. Okay, this is a. There are a lot to unpack. There are a lot of people right now who are very terrified <laughs> because they were tricked by Bellana into sending their nudes to someone who they thought they were dating. Oh. There are a lot of very scared people right now. Like very, I mean. Very angry Nothing can be done against them, though, right? Legally, they didn't do anything wrong. But in the court of public opinion, even if Bellana lied and, and, and cheated to make it happen, these people would still be considered in the wrong by a lot of people, even though they were deceived. Nah, that's not fucking fair. And Fluffy is, like, actively defending this kid, who has done a lot of terrible things. Bellana is a very terrible child. 
and you know that really sucks to say because I like kids because you know I just I, yeah this is the one instance I can properly say these kids are fucking dipshit I have I've come across a lot of terrible children in my day there was that one kid who faked a suicide attempt in order to get me fired from a uh, like server staff position no I didn't hear about that that was That's before I knew you. That was when I used to work for uh, P.M. Seymour, the Tumbleweed oh, guy. I know P.M. Seymour. I used to run his Discord server and do art for him, like design emojis for the server. And there was this kid uh, who used to be on staff, who I exposed as a minor and uh, proved that she was not fit to serve. Uh, she had been, like encouraging people to talk about NSFW stuff in the general chat and wanted to forgive this one dude who talked about killing all disabled people? No. Yeah. No. This kid was a little no. monster. So when she was fired from staff and I took down the role-playing chats that she had put in the server, she got all of the fucking cringy role players that were hanging out in Seymour's server just to role play and not actually to engage with the fandom together into one place and they plotted to fake her suicide twice two separate occasions they tried this to try and get Seymour to fire me they also started a smear campaign and a change.org petition <sighs> You forgot about the change.org oh. position? But that was the best part! Why, why would I remember any of this? Because it's hilarious how how much this child hated me. Oh, well, I mean, I vaguely remember. Oh my it. god. The child, this, this kid, this, this kid was so fucking, that I think Bellona might be the only child I've met who is worse than, than that kid. Wow. God. That's saying something, folks. Because Malone was pretty bad. Hey, did this go back to being a gaming stream if there's a video game happening for the end time there? Uh, no, it does not go back. It's still, uh, it's under the category of people in talks. But if you want to play a video game while yeah. I'm streaming. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I'm stealing your water. My water! Paper you know, straws! I Paper straws are the worst. They don't actually I save can only any turtles. Anything called a paper straw doesn't exactly give me confidence. Or I, let me speak for myself. I, I, I have, I guess. Paper straws do not save any turtles. They don't help anybody. They're just bad. Wet. Doesn't that, doesn't that kill fucking trees? You're, you're worsening the tree situation. Nah, all paper straws are supposedly made of recycled materials. I call bullshit, but alright. Oh! Monstrous just dropped some logs between her and Fluffy. Do you want to go through them? Oh god, yes. I would love to. Let me look at all of these. I probably should have mentioned that Monstrous is in class and they probably won't be able to call tonight. Oh, that's fine. Oh, Leo's in the call. Hi, Leo! Hi. Leo! You joined us! For a short period of time. Oh, hey, welcome Leo, to the I'm stream. Leo, I'm the dude you used to call Pepsi Man. Oh, I was wondering what happened to him. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm Pepsi Man. He's still around. He's my buddy. Aren't you, Hellboy? Yeah. Okay, let's... let's... You want me to read off these fucking screen caps for you? Um, sure. We're on the first one for now. All right, the first one? Yep. Okay. So, for anybody who needs context as to these text messages, Monstrous has been DMing Fluffy on and off, and today they blocked or unblocked them in over about, I want to say two weeks, two, three weeks now, uh, to talk to them straight on. And these are the messages following that. Um, I'll, read, says, I'll read Monstrous, you read Fluffy? Cool, great. Do it. Cool. I'm waiting. Let's understand something right now. I blocked your Fluffy18+, 
because the agreement was you stop talking to me, stop talking about me, and I leave you the fuck alone. You shut the fuck up, I blocked your account, and disappeared just like everyone said I would. Monsters, I know you and I have a nasty rivalry ever since the fiasco that went down, but what the fuck, man? Why are you hanging out with these people? They're homophobic, racist, transphobic, ableist, and I thought you knew better than to associate with people like that. And I assume they're referring to Leo and their band of ruffians? There are some allegations, but I know personally that Leo himself is not transphobic. You wouldn't be my friend if well, you were Well, from what I've seen, Leo seems like a stand-up guy. So. Yeah, no, Leo's... Well, this person got super mad because I, as a Hispanic person, used a... Uh, racial slur against Hispanic people to mess with this person. Oh, the monsters told me about that. Therefore, you're, I am racist. Somehow. But you're Hispanic. You're allowed to reclaim whatever slurs you want. Apparently not. Yeah, exactly. well, uh, fuck Floppy. I do my own dirty work. I hang with these people because these people take t take predators seriously. I want predators gone. And then Floppy says... From what I've seen, they haven't. They do less predator busting and more cyberbullying. Buttons was a predator. Is a predator. You don't know everything. So stop. I want predators gone too. Which is why I want nothing to do with DeviantArt anymore. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but alright. And I am still looking over the folders and so far I see no proof of Buttons playing on a child. However, I can see why you guys hate them so much. They've done some shitty things in the past and present. So Buttons ERPing with a 17-year-old at age 21 isn't abusive or creepy? Or them dating an orbiter who tried to groom a 17-year-old girl for BDSM isn't abusive? It's not predatory at all? Fuck you, Fluffy. You fucking, you fucking fuck. You fucking fuck. You got anything to add, Leah? No, I'm just listening to you read these off because I'm, I'm still working on art right now. Oh. Okay, cool. So that gets you up to speed, too. Good. All right. Let me pause you right there because I'm gonna. I'm only here because you think you can punch above your weight class. You cannot. I let you chat shit on Leo. I let you chat shit on Patch. They can handle their own. I blocked you... Because the agreement was you stop talking to me about me or to my friends and I disappear. Leo was the one that brought you up in the first place. And you thought I was afraid of you. I am not. Not in any way, shape, or form. I didn't want to talk about you. They said I was afraid of you for not wanting anything to do with you. So blame Leo for being an instigator. You're no. Not, you're an instigator now. You cause trouble. Well, I, I am, and I do. <laughs> no. Stop. They even tagged you. They brought you into this mess. Not me. And you, you do a good kind of... You do the good kind of instigator. Not the, I'm going to shit down your throat <laughs> instigator. No. You did. I was focused on the buttons drama. You weren't supposed to talk about me. To me. Nothing. And you did it anyway. Then he brought you up and you talked to me first. You want to argue semantics? You were supposed to have me blocked? We can argue semantics. I did have you blocked. I unblocked you for this shit show. You think I'm terrified of you? I am not. You had a choice to just ignore me, but you didn't. Leo instigated this. You think I'm gonna let you, you of all people, chat shit about how I'm scared of them? You could have ignored my name. You didn't. I did, but Leo kept lying and said I was afraid of you. They yeah. said it once. They said it once. And you are. You cried when I called your school. You are scared of me. And I got to witness them crying about the school thing. I was in that fucking call. All right, we're on the next one. You you start the next one. Okay, cool.
He even tagged you in my post, dude, and I'm not. You chat shit about me, not to me, around me, to my friends, on all your Twitters. You're the one that keeps blocking me, even though just a few moments ago you said you should have had me blocked. Why wouldn't I? You're crazy! So are you! No, 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 no. Lol, no, try again. Especially now that you're depending on these trolls. I'm not depending on anyone. Yes, you are. Prove it. Show me how I'm depending on them. You just want more power like you always do. Want more power? Bitch, what? How? Prove it. Yeah, you're a power-hungry psycho. Prove it! You weren't proving anything! You even have a damn crossmod server just to get to, into everyone's business and try to control other servers. I didn't even make the crossmod discord! I do want to clarify with that, though. While they are the owner, they really didn't make it. It was Ham. And then they passed it on because Ham, you know. So they really don't have any direct influence over it. No, uh, yeah. Bullshit. Space Ham did. The former owner of the fan card. Yeah, right. Anyways, dude, I never thought you would stoop this low. I'm not stooping. And then a screenshot oh. of Space mm -hmm. Ham and then there's another screenshot. Yeah. Very well. Nevertheless, you use the crossbot. Uh, oh. Using oh, a I server. Fucking post. Using the server, like, what the fuck does... Here's the thing. Here's the thing about the crossmod Discord. We don't use it to cross-ban. The only time we use it to cross-ban is in situations of extreme detriment, such as a community member being ousted as a pedophile, a community member being ousted as a troll, and is constantly going from server to server saying the N-word or shit like it. That's the only time we cross ban. Only time. And the only other instance where we would cross ban, where it isn't that severe, is when users are harassing crew members of Has Been Hotel. That's the only other time. So, That's stalkers, it. harassers, and trolls. Those are the only people that you cross Basically. Ban. And Stalkers, there's a mutual trolls and pedophiles. That's just, that's basically all that we cross fan. And like this isn't monstrous forcing all of the other server owners to do that. There's a mutual agreement. No, yeah, exactly. And we sometimes they don't even ban the trolls or the pedophiles and shit. We just give them the information that we have on hand and they decide what they're gonna do from there. So now, it's an information squad, hub. It's not a, it's a communication yeah, hub for fucking server moderators. Exactly. It's just a communication hub where we can pass along info from server to server so that, you know, everybody has it on hand so they don't have to go through that shitty experience. That's, like, that's all we're doing. We're just doing it out of pure convenience. It's not like we're trying to get every server to ban everybody. That's what the fucking Rift Cafe used to be for the MLP community. I wouldn't know anything about that, but yeah, sure. It's exactly like that. It's just a place like where... We don't force anybody to do anything. It's just a majority of the time when people see, oh, this person diddles kids, or oh, this person tried to convince Viv to put them on the show in a really shitty way. Those people tend to get banned because... The servers we report it to are usually in a mutual agreement that you're a shitty person. Because they are. And I'm sorry that you can't handle the reality that you're a shitty human being, but you are, so kiss up and suck up. Mm. So anyway, should That's... we continue reading the fourth screenshot or what was it yeah it was the fourth one okay very well nevertheless you use the cross mod server to gain more power over others no i do not prove it yes you do prove it prove it 
in the crossband, sweetheart. Doubt. That's not how it works. You have crossband so many fucking people, it's not even funny. Again, we only crossband fucking pedophiles and dipshits. The only time I crossband are... people are predators, stalkers, and groomers. That's it. You even try to bring people into outside drama. No, 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 no. Sit down, little girl. You're the one who cried to ponder Sprocket. Leo wants to know when you're going to VC him. I never cried to her. I wanted to ask her for advice, but she was the one that wanted me to go into further detail. Give me a name. Give me a name of someone I cross banned. I'll go find their name in the cross mod Discord. Here, let's start with you being banned from Texas's server. Me and nearly everyone in part server. You guys even admitted it yourselves in this fucking post. Please, Mastery, so I'm not here to play games with you. The post that they provided was a screenshotted post of where I said in the Bun Squad, once the pilot came out, hey guys, I know a lot of you were banned from the fan court. You guys are coming from over there to here. And there's been a lot of reports in the past couple days that you guys have been talking about your bands in here, making a stink about your bands in here. And I'm here to remind you that I'm still watching. I don't approve of the fact that you're talking about your band in here. I'm not going to give you shit for talking about your band. I am going to tell you to politely stop. And I'm not going to allow you to proceed any further than that because this server isn't about your band. And I'm not going to cross ban you for it. But if you continue to do so, I will. That's all that. That was the basic summary of that fucking announcement. And they highlighted one specific section of it where it says, We don't cross ban, but we will if we have to. Yeah, right, the exact the words exact are, word we, we don't do cross-server bans unless something drastic happens. Exactly. That's Which what is, it said. It's incredibly reasonable. And if you haven't gathered by now, Fluffy was a drastic situation. Because they went from user to user, stalking and harassing them. They were threatening people. They were calling them child groomers and art-bashing people that weren't even copying art, that weren't even pedophiles. They went on their own fucking crusade, and it got to the point where people were uncomfortable. So we had to get rid of them. And it was decided upon in Bun Squad to do the same thing, and decided upon on other servers that they would also do the same thing, because they didn't want it anywhere near them. I mean, that sounds reasonable. I feel like throwing this big of a tantrum over getting banned from a couple of servers is kind of piss baby bullshit. It this is, is like, piss baby Wee! bullshit. It's the shit that they do out of nowhere. Okay. So we got through that. I'm trying to keep up with all these fucking screenshots. Alright. So, um, there's another one monstrous sense that I can't make out. Hold on, let me scroll. Is it the bottom one? Yes. I can read it perfectly. I'll go ahead and read it off for you when we get to that point. Well, we are at that point right now. Are we at that point? Yeah. Oh, you meant the fourth one in general. Okay, yeah. So I can read this, or the fifth one. I can read it. I can read this fine. So you just want me to read off the whole thing? Sure, if you could. Okay. So Monstrous sends a screenshot where we were talking about Park Server and all that other shit. They said, uh, Monster says, nearly everyone, who is everyone, tell me who is everyone, that was Sephiria. Fluffy then rebukes, saying, there are 700 users in Park Server, not going to name them all, but Park Server is a safe haven. Hold on, I'm going to plug my phone in. I hate the fact that it uses USB-C. They said, not going to name them all, but Park Server is a safe haven from you and Hellboy's tyranny. But damn, dude, I can't believe you're hanging out with these people. When people find out you're associating with homophobic, transphobic, ableist, racist trolls, your rep will be ruined. Okay, said, I'm gonna stop. stop. I'm gonna stop that right there. Um, a majority of um, barrel is problematic, but you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> I am heard. But I take. Stories. But I take a lot of issue with the with this continued assertion that leo is an ableist a transphobe a homophobe or a racist well see here's the thing they're basing it off of they're basing it off of offensive humor 
And it's not even really directly offensive. Liam though. doesn't even swear. I've heard him use a slur maybe once. I've never even heard him say the N-word. This man is, like... The you one are... time I recall saying, quote-unquote, the N-word, it was a soft A, and it was towards a dude who was trying to be, uh, a, uh, I think the term is gangbanger, I'm not really sure, who said he was going to have people drive by my house on a Tuesday to shoot me up, and he never did. It made me very upset. Oh, but it would have been so fun for you to block all those bullets with your swords. Clearly. I mean, <laughs> frankly, I don't think the guy can spell, so I, that, he would have gotten the right address. Like... And you've is, always been incredibly supportive focusing. of the trans people that you're friends with. You're supportive of me. You're supportive of Doe Guy. And when when you were friends with Buttons, you respected their identity. You still I mean, do still now, do. even though you hate them. Well, yeah. Again, uh, respecting somebody's pronouns is, number one, I believe, something to be basic civility. And secondly, if I can respect it to people who have tried to kill me, I'm pretty sure I can respect it to people who have done less. And you were the one who advised me to start doing physical therapy at home and gave me advice on different exercises I could do in order to get my strength back after I had lost my leg. You are Correct. anything but ableist. You're one of the most encouraging people I know when it comes to the disabled people that you're friends with. Which is kind of sad, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just... These... The rest of Barrel, they have a lot of problems. Beat has done I mean, some transphobic need. stuff in his past. Stolen has done some ableist shit in his past. Shelly D is Shelly D. I, I, I make no excuses for Sheldon. He's just like that. Uh, like, Beryl has a lot of Not problematic everybody's people perfect. In it. Not everybody posts the complete PG rating stuff that they should. But even then, it's not... It's the only people that Monsters associates with in that server is you and Leah. That's I'm not it. even in Beryl. I thought you were in Beryl. No, okay, well, I'm just Leo. Patch only comes to Barrel when we're streaming something Patch wants to talk about, and that's the place we're streaming it at. Uh, Monstrous has some connections with other people in Barrel, but usually it's just to tease them. Like, Monstrous loves to tease Stalin, and it's absolutely hilarious because he doesn't know what to do when a pretty girl picks on him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he now has a mommy dom kink because of Monstrous. Yeah, Monstrous is a big dommy mommy that doesn't... <laughs> I seem to recall somebody else showing him my DM saying, Leo, you told Monstrous I said she was attractive. I will eat your kneecaps. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Leo, I swear to God, if you don't stop bullying me for being attracted to my friends, I will show up in your house. I will manifest at the foot of your this bed, and I will me. fill now your I pillows. Can you over it. No! I mean, you you can manifest at the edge of my bed all you want. I've still got stairs. Yeah, and I I might not be able to <laughs> climb stairs, but I can ride down them. Maybe so, but we shall see. I'm, go I'm going to grind your kneecaps into dust and combine them with cocaine in the ashes of TJ's dead father. I don't think you will, because you'll be too busy being encumbered by the cats that you will want to pet. Oh, yeah. No, if I do go to your house, I won't even be able to kill you. I'll just be petting the cats the whole time. Yes, especially oh, especially we... Nugget. Nugget really likes affection. Oh! <laughs> babe! Babe, Leo has a cat I... named Nugget! I want a cat named Nugget. Well, I mean, his, his, dad's name is, his dad's name is Turd, so he's a Turd Nugget. That was oh. the naming convention. <laughs> That's, that hurts! <laughs> oh, God. He's it a sweet boy, be... but he's a little bit too affectionate sometimes. Should we um? We should get back to the stuff. Yeah. 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 Um. So it's the only reason the only reason I'm trying to push it, and I'm sorry, I know you guys are having your moment. It's just that I gotta get out of here in the next two hours to head to PAX. No, yeah. it's okay. Let's finish getting through these screenshots. Well, not tonight. even PAX, just Boston in general. But you where get the is, point. Where is this being streamed at, anyways? Um, my Twitch. Twitch. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'll send you the link. It's all right. I found it. Yes, monstrous. We are still streaming. Get in the fucking call. I think they're in class. I don't care. Okay. So, Monstrous then says, stop focusing on Barrel. We're talking. 700 users, but we've only been, what, 200? Maybe? I'm sorry. 397, according to my check. And what? Fluffy then rebutes again, saying, dude, my main focus is on Barrel right now and this button's drama. 175 then, of them were both. I was, um, can we go back to what we were doing before it goes through it faster? Oh, yeah, sure, totally. Okay, 175 of them were before me, before I even had power. So that leaves, what, 225? 
That shit happened between me and you is done. Except it's not, because you think I'm scared of you. I'm not, so let's understand something. Leo is the one that brought up your name and made us fight each other for his amusement. Leo man bad. <laughs> you stop <laughs> with me now. Stop blaming Leo. You stop. You could have ignored my name. You never stop. You chose not to. You cannot prove I'm power hungry. You cannot prove I'm a tyrant. And I did ignore your damn name until he kept saying I was afraid of you. All your shit is hearsay from users who posted Nazi memes. And you are power hungry. And misgendered users or flirted with minors. So stop. You do not know why people were banned. Oh, so kindly shut the fuck up. Uh, I don't talk to Sly anymore, you fucking idiot. Yes, I do. Uh, how many times do I have to repeat myself? I hate predators, too. I'm not the crybaby who has this cycle every fucking year. I've seen your Twitter accounts, all of them, and how they all do the same thing. You cry about being the victim. I'm not a power-hungry, evil tyrant bitch that wants everyone to bow down and lick your boot. Stop using bitch. I prefer cunt. Get it right. Or hellspawn. I don't give a good goddamn fuck what you call me. You're a tragic little cunt on a tragic little hill, and the only thing I regret is not siding with Salem when this first started. Smiley face. So, you're a racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist troll now? Prove it. Guilty by association doesn't work here. I suppose I am racist against white people in their anti-vaxxing ways. Dude, you're hanging out with racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist trolls. I hate how they keep typing the same thing. I swear to copy-pasting it now. Just because I know them doesn't mean I am one. Dude, you're friends with them. No, I'm friends with Leo. And Patch. Not a good look for you. I don't give a fuck what you think of me. I honestly do not. I just never thought you would go this far. Ne Something they say all the fucking time. Never thought you'd go this far. You're so unoriginal you can't even insult me right. Make fun of my broken home. I knew you were a shitty person, but this... This is just... I can't even say... I have to read it dramatically because of how they type out this shit. Good fucking Christ. Or some shit. You were a shitty person. Oh, is that why I convinced someone not to call the cops on you and tried to help you disappear? Because that's how our relationship started. These people are gonna ruin your rep, dude. That's how all of this started. I didn't want to see you go to jail. And I didn't need to disappear. I didn't need the cops being called on me. You overreacted. Stop and read. Someone was about to file charges against you, and I sat in a call with them. Who was it? Question mark, question mark, question mark. They asked us all the time. And convinced them not to. Bruh, it was a year ago. Dude, who was it? Mm -hmm. I haven't spoken to them since. If it was a year ago, it shouldn't matter. I brought it up to show you how this started. That I helped you out because someone was about to send you to jail. And I didn't want that. I know only one person who would do that, and she's fucking crazy. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's not in common, then. So are I you. I'm gonna fucking treat. So are you. You obsessed for months over me. No, I'm not. You did it before we even stopped talking in October. You had users in servers I was in, knowing I was in them. You tried to pull shit from check-in server with information you didn't even have. Then you tried to accuse me of cheating on my husband. But you aren't even in the voice chats where he openly talks about fucking other users he likes who like him. Or, let's talk about Jen. Jen Zelda. Famous Jen Zelda. And how you took that convo out of context. How she was going to raid my server. I also want to make this clear for people chatting 
in the Twitch because I noticed there were a few people confused. We're reading off chat logs between Fluffy and Monstrous. This is shit that they wanted us to show on stream. Yeah, Monstrous asked us to uh, cover this while we were streaming. So. Uh, yes, and last exactly. line is, if you ever get confused, just remember three words. Leo Man Bad. Leo Man Bad. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Leo, I'm, I'm going to design it. I'm, I'm going to design a shirt once this stream is over that just says Leo Man Bad. Well, I mean, Leo Man is bad. Leo we, we Man Bad. I'm a, I'm a bully, and yeah. I have victims. Yeah, no. Dude, I'm going to get a fucking lion helmet, and I'm going to put Leo Man Bad on the forehead. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Leo. No, better yet, get the Leo cult going. We'll get all the creepy freaking lion headdresses and keep going. Uh, <laughs> we can just Leo, Leo, you do, Man you do realize that because you own that, you are now a furry. Uh, furries are something that people decide that they are, and I reject that notoriety, therefore I am not one. No, I know how identity works. You're an honorary furry. Honorary means nothing if you do not accept it. Mm, anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'm reading off Fluffy shit. Patch is reading off Monstrous' shit. Yeah. So, <clears throat> that's because you guys were monitoring, mon <laughs> monitoring every single fucking thing I did. I didn't appreciate that. No, stop. This was long before that. Long. You weren't even on my radar. Yes, you guys did. And you guys were monitoring me back then, too. No, we did not. You were gone. How the fuck could I know where you were? Who you were. You brag about having all these accounts. All of these names. Plus, unlike you, I do my own dirty work. If I want info, I take action and not depend on anyone for it. Even though you depend okay, on the Okay, let's see. Let's see how many people Fluffy asked about the Sly Fox drama. Um, Loki, Monstrous, me, Ponder, Leo... That's five different people that you relied on to get information when uh, I had already six. done. They were asking. They were asking Gam for information too. Six. Okay, six different people you asked for information that was all found publicly. His ID was on his Instagram account. He has publicly admitted to be Mojiraka multiple times on several different Twitter accounts. There are tons of screenshots floating around. There is the publicly available archive of his. Google search history that he was dumb enough to release that proves that he looks at child porn. There's um, all of the public screenshots of him tr telling people to kill themselves. There is the publicly available screenshots of him in an NSFW call room with a minor. Like, all of this is very publicly and easily available. Hell, I, erased, I, I released a fully organized archive of everything weeks ago, and you still act like, there's no evidence that Sly Fox is a fucking pedophile. So You want to know something worse? What? They don't think his Mojo Raka past is problematic. So you don't think being... What? Mojo Raka was a they username... They don't think... And I remember this. There was a DM. Not a Discord DM, but a Twitter DM they had with somebody. And I think it's still in the Crossmod Discord if I can find it. Somebody mentioned the Mojo Raka shit to them, and they said, I know about the Mojo Raka history, but it's not very problematic. It's the past, and it's not illegal to write fan fiction. He didn't just write fan fiction. He created pornography of Dora the Explorer characters specifically for the known prolific pedophile Solid Mario so that he could use them to groom underage girls. So, so and that's what they were told, but they didn't, they didn't care. So is this dumb broad just, like, vagina thirsty for a pedophile? Because that's what I'm reading at, here. At this point, yeah, pretty much. It, it seems like it. I think I Fluffy I just wants to fuck you you know. Sly Fox. She's angry because she's not an underage girl. Like, I'm not, I wish I was an underage girl so that Sly Fox would want to have sex with me. Like, that's how this comes off. Fucking Christ. Honestly, yeah. So... Where were we? Uh, um, we were at Monstrous saying, I'm literally here doing my dirty work. In fact, I just did it today. Yeah, a rare occurrence. Uh, Monstrous constantly takes the fucking charge on everything. Like, bro. Monstrous was my primary source while I was researching this Live Fox situation. Her, Loki, and Timbred. Mm. Oh. And let me know, like, when I called your school, yeah, that's what I thought. I do my own dirty work. 
I made calls to Boo, uh, Winky uh, Woo Face. You know why people talk to you, shit talk you, or comment on your shit? It's because they hate you. They fucking hate you. They cannot stand you. Please do. Who did you call? Talk to them. And to be honest, I don't give a shit if they shit talk me anymore. Please. I want to know. I'll talk to a police officer. Give me a name. A badge number. Please. I will happily talk to them. I'll talk to whoever you called. Yeah, I called your police department, and they didn't do anything about your cyberbullying, so I made other calls. What's my local PD? Can I have the number? Tell me who you called. I'll talk to them myself. You think I'm lying? And no, you're not gonna give out. I'm not gonna give out names because you'll go uh, uh, ape shit on them too. Lol, nah, fam. You can feel the stuttering. Lol, nah, fam. Oh, I'll talk to them. Okay, sorry. Monstrous the enemy. They were asking what we were doing. Okay. Monstrous, so, just watch the stream. Right. They can't patch. They're oh, right. in class, class right now. They're still. That sounds like an that sounds like an excuse to me. It's been an hour and fifteen minutes. No, see, here's the thing. They're in college, and their program allows them to go in once every Tuesday to get the bulk of the information they need and all their assignments in one go. But normally they have to stay there for about, like, three or four hours. And sometimes oh. they won't get home. Yeah. I've never been sometimes in a lecture that lasted like more than 45 or minutes, so I was confused. Yeah, no, no. They, they, they have long-ass classes, and that's where they get the bulk of their information. That's why... They're, you know. Mm, fair enough. Uh, okay. Let's yeah. see. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Scroll up. I have to find where we were. Uh, we were at... And we were on the phone call part, right? Yeah. Um. It's screenshot... Okay, I probably... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Screenshot nine. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm still DMing monsters. Oh, Monstrous wants her own stream. I'm gonna give her her own stream tomorrow. <laughs> Let me tell him that. Holy shit, I'm at 13 viewers right now. Hi, everybody! Welcome to hell! Hello, everybody. Just remember, keyword, Leo Man Bad. Leo Man Bad. Leo Man Bad. Leo Man Bad. All Man Bad. Bad Man. <laughs> Leo, Leo Bad Man. Leo Yell at Pedophile. Oh, remember Z Guy of Psy? Leo Yell at Pedophile that I want to fuck. I swear to God, this bitch is so thirsty for Sly Fox. It's like she—it's like she needs a saline IV drip. She's that thirsty. Maybe she do. Oh, they have work off tomorrow, so you picked a good time. Okay. Yeah. Now we can scroll up and fucking read again. I apologize for that. All right. Okay, um, so I found the call part, and now I'm on the part that we were on next. Lol, nah, fam. I'll talk to them. And what exactly are you going to tell them, huh? I'll send them my entire file on you, and we can talk over everything. I'll still have stuff from your original account from Bun Bun. Great, because I send them my entire file in you, too. From Blueberry. Cool! Tell me who they are! I want to talk to them. You'll find out soon enough, kissing emoji. Anyways, if I were you, I'd ditch those bigots. They're going to ruin your image. Back on this again. You're shirking. Tell me names. I want to know names. Give me names. I want to talk. Not telling, since you won't tell me who wanted to press charges on me. It's only fair, right? So that people have evidence. I didn't say I didn't want to. I said I couldn't remember, because I don't. Well, then I don't remember either. If I had the username, I'd happily tell you. And then Alistair thinking emoji. I guess you're feeling 
Or I guess you're feeding bullshit information again, just like you did with, with Jen Zelda, just like you did with Clark. By the way, she made that thinking Alistair emoji, by the way. She makes some fucking hilarious emojis. That's amazing. Monstrous, I'm going to commission you soon. You should commission her sometime. She's got her commissions open right now. Bye, if bye. you don't have that username, I'm not going to give out names. Just like you did Sly and Patch and Leo. You stick your nose in places it doesn't belong, always, and then you cry about being a victim. And how mean people are when you do it to yourself. Is Fluffy just Onision? Oh no. I feel like I feel like they're just Onision, but like diluted. I didn't Onision. feed Patch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I didn't feed Patch any bullshit, nor Leo, which is bullshit in itself. Also, I didn't even know Spoken Mind has anything to do with you in the first place. Okay, um, but you did feed bullshit to Ponder by saying that I didn't tell you that Sly abused the girls that he abused in voice chats. You lied about not believing us, which I had screenshot proof of. You lied about a lot of things to Ponder specifically. Because they thought Ponder would come to their fucking aid and fix everything. Everyone thinks that Ponder is this fucking get-under-jail-free card for pedophilia accusations, but she's not. She's a person who has standards and tries to do the right thing and protect people from false allegations. If I haven't even gotten a chance to meet Ponder yet, but you sound like a cool fucking human being. And I really she's an amazing her. woman, and I'm very happy to call her an acquaintance. She helped me out with the fucking Zoophile Police drama. She helped me out with some stuff regarding the Lily Orchard drama. She's an incredibly intelligent woman, and I'm very happy to know her. Cool. She has, she, uh, she, she's also a very good YouTuber. I recommend her channel fully. I'll have to check it out when I'm on the road with... Uh... Oh, I can't give out the name on the screen. But anyway, her her videos on. are super long, so you'll have plenty. <laughs> Oh, good. I love long videos. I like long stories. But continue. Continue reading. Alright. Then why are you opening your mouth for shit you don't know? You don't know my connection to Beryl. Or how I even came into Beryl. Or oh, my role... Read the bottom two lines? No, I had to move to the next screenshot. Or my role oh, okay. with Bologna. You don't know anything. Spoken Mind and I talked way before I knew you were associated with her. They were starting shit in the HHRP verse. You still won't okay. talk. You still won't talk to Leo. You you didn't even VC with me. You shit on sex workers like bruh. And you're an ableist. So I guess we both done something shitty. We already apologized for. Prove how I'm an ableist because of my cheap shot. The that I only. Have or the only I apologized for and owned up to, and spoke to someone who was disabled to get clarity? The fuck did you do? Nothing. You doubled down. You honestly don't remember the joke you made? And how I didn't appreciate you using the R word at our last VC? And I gotta give context for that. Uh, Monstrous did unintentionally use the R word in the discussion that we had with Fluffy, but it wasn't meant to attack anybody, they were just talking about how the situation in general was stupid, and that was the word that they used, and they apologized for it, said that it was used on accident, that it wasn't hey, going to happen no, again dude, the call. As long as she learned from it and hasn't used it since, then I have no problem with it. People make yeah, mistakes again, like that all the time. She doesn't normally talk like that, so that's what also caught me off guard. Yeah. But yeah, she didn't use it in any harmful way. It was just to comment on how stupid a situation was, and they apologized immediately after. Mm. You have an OC... But anyway, continue. You have an OC that's a dominatrix, and you continuously push your love of sex workers. You are guilty. Bruh! And prove to me that I hate sex workers! I apologized and even said I would never use that word. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. I literally said, that's not a word I would normally use. My bad. I apologize. I take it back. 
almost word for word because it's not. Anyways, it's not seeing you go down like this. Sweet. I cannot wait. I'm so hyped. I want to be canceled. Be sure to cancel my staff, too. I'm being serious. They're hella disappointed you didn't make a video about them. They really wanted to be in your video. Dude, I'm being serious. I cannot wait to be canceled. I'm so hyped. Monstrous, you are turning into one of them. Stop acting like you give a single fuck about me. You do not. I hope I get canceled. Make sure you cancel everyone on my staff, too. Dude, if I truly hated you, I would pretend you didn't exist. Do that anyway, because you refuse to do it now. Cancel me! Let me scroll down to the next image. Uh, also, Ooh, Leah wants to know when you'll VC him. Oh yeah, that too. Uh, it's hard for me to hate people, and I'm talking to you now. If I truly hated you, I wouldn't be here. Then stop giving me empty threats. You want to cancel me, but you're talking to me? You stalked me for months. So did you! Literally didn't. We were both bitches to each other. No, the second I blocked you. None are innocent, dude. On October 22nd, 2019, was the last time I said, did, or spoke about you until you started posting about me. And you kept spreading your carnage no matter where I went. You always wanted to be involved in my business, and I didn't appreciate that. Projecting much? <laughs> what carnage? Also remember what you said to me a while ago? If not, I'll be happy for a fresh shift memory. Mm. I see a lot of things. What did I say? Make it quick, fam. I gotta drive to school. Hello? Have patience. My phone died. That's, it always dies. Are you kidding me? I don't have patience or time. What TLDR? Paraphrase it for me. Fine. Remember the group chat between you, me, and she? And I remember what... Yeah, that, that was a terrible... That's awful grammar and fucking... You know what? I'm gonna roll with it. Remember the group chat between you, me, and she? Remember what you told me after I stated that I wanted to, I wanted Jester to stop talking shit about me? Which they never did, by the way. I mean, they did, like, once or twice during the whole stalking ordeal, but they never said anything after. Like, they avoided Fluffy like the plague, like we were trying to do, but they kept pushing themselves into our lives. You told me he can talk shit about anyone he wants. So, why can't I do the same? Why is it a crime for me to talk shit about whoever I want, but acceptable when one of your friends do it, hmm? Because you asked for a ceasefire and you lied. There are things you can talk shit on me for, if you are gonna talk shit. Do it because of something I did. Dude, you defended him for talking shit about me, but when psycho when I didn't say him. That's double standards right there. You have a history of doing this to yourself. Also, question for you, because I do love questions, and it's not out there yet, but if I was so power-hungry, if I was such a tyrant... If you're talking about the villainous fandom, it all started because this perv asked me for nudes and I called him out on it. Then he manipulated everyone me thinking I'm a lying bitch and played the victim cards. Why am I stepping down from the fan court of the month? And I haven't announced it to anyone but my staff, mind you. On to the next screenshot. If I'm such an evil, power-hungry tyrant, then why would I do that? Also, I need to drive. If you want to continue this, you got a VC. In before. And then an image of a conversation they had with Sephiria. Yes. He got his friends to bully and harass me until I left. One of the harassers even apologized to me a few years later and told me he was manipulating her, too. He manipulated everyone, and I'll have to... At this point, it just seems like all men bad. Not even just Leo, all men. All men bad. If you have PP, you're bad. And I'll have to VC later. I'm sorry, but I have homework to catch up on. I can't VC later. I have class and 15 minutes to talk, so it's now or never. I'm going to give you, like, one minute. 
You want a VC or not? 30 seconds before I pull out and head to class. Well, I don't have time right now, so I'm sorry, but the harassment needs to end. I didn't get involved in the buttons drama because of you. I got involved because of the cyberbullying going on. They have every right to hate buttons, but they don't have the right to cyberbully them to death. And it's fine if you don't want a VC. We don't have to. Me repeatedly saying, hey, take responsibility for framing me as a zoophile isn't cyberbullying. It's demanding them recant their statements slandering me. I'm I'm not cyberbullying. And even then, that's, like... <laughs> that's not even, that, that, that wouldn't even be considered bullying anywhere. That's just to fucking retract it. Like, hey, fucking stop spreading lies about me and falsely accusing your ex of rape, thanks. Oh my god. Just saying. Good thing I'm not harassing yeah. you then, am I? Good thing I didn't stalk you for months or go spy on you. You and your friends are. Hey, monstrous, please be, please be honest here. No, we're not. I am. I legitimately am from the time I blocked you on October 22nd, 2019 to, what is it, January 16th? I forgot about you. No, you're not. You have been sending others to do your dirty work, and that resulted in me being money to 20 bucks. What are you on about, my dude? Why would I send someone to monitor you? I'm not paranoid like you, fam. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I am not the only person you have done it to. Oh? Who supposedly have I also monitored? Sly? Doubt. Big doubt. No, you've monitored my friends and me, apparently, since you didn't choose to ignore Leo's tag. Which friends? How the fuck does one monitor when they work two jobs and go to grad school and juggle a 7k discord? They don't. No one from me monitored you. Better question. How do you know you were being monitored? Or your friends? Now, this is the single greatest cop-out that I have ever had the pleasure of reading. Look, I'm tired. I can't focus on this bullshit between you and me any longer. If you want to hang out with those bigoted trolls and that's on you, just don't say I didn't warn you. After all you've done to me, you haven't earned my hatred, which is why I'm still talking to you now. I know I have issues. I know I have problems. But at, at least I admit that. You, on the other hand, don't. You think you are always right, always perfect. Get rid of that mentality. It's toxic. Anyways, I'm going to go back to ignoring you because I don't want to associate with anyone that hangs out with bigots. <sighs> That's the end. I have so many fucking shit. I feel like I grew a tumor reading all of that, not uh, going to lie. I, I already have so many abscesses. Like, Leo, I'm... how you feeling after that, man? You got pancreatic cancer? Nope. Instead, I just have unending rage, which is normal for my... me. You know what? I, that's a good sentiment. I feel that. I my lifespan that. has been cut in half by this. I'm gonna have to drink so much water to get it back. Honestly, all this fucking sauce that gets provided from this shit, like, bro, it, it, it increases my lifespan. I feel like I'm going to live to be 300 and have to have the weight of this on my fucking shoulders. Like, this is so... It's like when fucking Ra's al Ghul jumps into a Lazarus pit. This is my Lazarus pit. Drama, the Lazarus pit of douchebags. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm, ki I'm, I'm kidding, you're not a douche, I love you. Well, you know, honestly, I can't lie. I have been a douchebag sometimes. I'm not a perfect human being, but no one is. Mm, nah. I just... This this chick is so fucking obsessed with all of us. I still can't get over... Like, okay, if... The day after my ceasefire with Fluffy, I get a screenshot from Rouge Moonbat. Uh, FNGR's girlfriend, also a very talented TF2 player and a really yeah, cool... Yeah, then they follow me and I follow them. Follow yeah, Rouge is a really chill chick. And I really like hanging out with her. Um, 
I get a screenshot from her that Purple is asking her for information about the Acedia drama, or the Buttons drama. Oh, I haven't gotten a chance to get caught up on this. Please tell me about all this. Um, Rouge immediately responded with, I'm Patchwork Heart's friend, fuck off. Six minutes after Rouge sent that, Purple posted a fucking Spongebob meme. You remember the nya 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 with his fucking arms folded on his shoulders to look like chicken wings meme? And says, oh, the chicken wings meme? Yes, the fucking... Let me, let me get the specific one because I DM'd it to Ponder. If all... If all Fluffy had done was DM asking for information, that wouldn't have violated our ceasefire. But this tweet, right here, in the fucking... Can you see it on screen? I'm not even looking at the stream right now. I had to pop off because my friend Kiwi said they're watching the stream. Hi, Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. Um, here, I sent it to you in your DMs. That fucking tweet... Oh! I know that one! That if tweet, there was a according to... For fucking Twitter, I would have used it immediately. According to Brooke, accord, according to Ponder Sprocket, that tweet violates our ceasefire. Oh, hold up. That, that specific tweet, which was the day after we fucking made our agreement, that immediately violated our ceasefire, which makes the entire thing null and void. If you hadn't said my name, you wouldn't have gotten in trouble, you stupid cunt. You stupid, stupid cunt. You stupid... The cuntiest cunt. The cuntiest cunt to ever cunt. The cuntiest cunt. But you, you could have avoided this. It would have been so easy. It would have been so easy. Yes, but this person is not a smart person. He is very dumb. Ugh, I have never... I I have met I have met actual meth addicts with more brain cells left than this bitch. I have met people who mainline Adderall up their nose with more common sense than this bitch. Like <laughs> This is the this is the tweet that secured me my ability to rip on you for the rest of your life, Purple. Cause you continually choose to go after me and my friends. For all I know, you've probably tried to go after my wife. I mean purple's welcome to keep oh, coming sure. after me. That's entertaining for me. Give her ideas. Same reason why Woot doesn't try to trade blows with me. He's got nothing on me. I mean, she's already going after Leo's wife, too. Which is why I wouldn't be surprised if she tried to go after you. But there's, like, literally nothing about you on the internet, babe. To the best of my ability, anyway. Yeah. All anyone knows I mean, about you is that you're gay and cute. But my wife doesn't exist. It's just a body pillow. Apparently. Yeah, no, Leo, it's you're married hard. to... You're married to a body pillow. It's just... The IRS is not gonna be happy about that joint filing status then. It's a it's a body pillow of Chitara, right? No. It'd be Catwoman. You're goddamn right it would be Catwoman. Selena Kyle for life. But like I Fluffy has just done nothing but act like an obnoxious turd their entire life. I don't think they know any other way to be. Probably not, and that's why we gotta beat the stupid out of her. I'm just... I'm baffled that this bitch is so obsessed with me. The last time someone was this obsessed with me, it was a fucking 12-year-old. God, I really do need to talk to Seymour about maybe doing a video on the drama from when I ran his server. That would be funny. I mean, maybe not for me. <laughs> Someone might be entertained by it. <laughs> purple is fluffy, right? Yes, Sam. Uh, purple Jubilance, Purple Universe, uh, 
Fluffy's two cents, Fluffy eighteen plus. What's where's the list of all of their fucking all of they they have like what sixty different accounts? I never counted. Let's let me go up in my DMs with Monstrous. I talk to her so much. I don't regret it for a minute. Monstrous was fun to hang out with. Does Fluffy even have a job? Like, what, what, what does... Like, I'm an independent business owner. Hellboy has a day job. Monstrous has two day jobs and is in grad school. What does... What does this bitch even do? Sit on the internet and look for pedo dick to suck. I swear to God, I'm going to have to do so much censoring before I upload this footage to YouTube. Why? Because? Oh, no, wait, my channel's not monetized. Never mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Here you is... You win even when you lose. Here is a full list of all of, uh... All of the current accounts we know about from Fluffy. Hellish Flapper, Purple Jubilance, Madrid Butterfly, Alice0113, Purple Universe, which is now Fluffy's Two Cents, Latina Pastel, Personal Unlocked, Pink Kindness, Carefree Nymph, Sun Sheriff, Hell Princess, uh, Squishy Waifu, Deadly Conchas, Fame Fortune 20, Venom Mama, Pink Mochi Cutie, Elven Pure, and That Bitch. At least that last one is accurate. <laughs> so, Leo, what has... I, I saw that Fluffy has been bothering you a lot today. What, what's that about? I can't even remember exactly what I was commenting on, but I got involved. And I think it's actually with Rouge. Peter Rouge or somebody else. It was spoken. It was spoken. Going back and forth about buttons. And this person was demanding evidence. We gave evidence. Well, that's not real evidence. That's hearsay. So what happened is we wound up bombarding this person, this Fluffy, with evidence. And instead of engaging with the evidence, she tried to excuse her actions by going on about other things that were going on in the thread. And then when she finally decided to sit down, she started complaining about the fact that we were responding, saying that, well, I can't read this if you're blowing up my phone. So she winds up reading through it, determines Buttons is, in fact, a bad person, but because she couldn't just flatly admit yeah, that, she yeah. decided to try to attack me, and she sucks at it. First, she tries going after the, the idea of me having a wife and starts talking about the action figures I collect. And I start getting really catty. Like, three figures I own can pay okay. for your entire wardrobe. Okay. You going to block all of them? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Jess was just asking for it's me okay. to send her the list of accounts so that she can block them all. And I'm going to send her the ones that aren't on the list, too, honey. Cool. And then I told her that, uh, what's it like to have that plan B in your bag that you'll never need? You know, Bitch, stuff like that. Bitch, the fuck did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she started making fun of uh, my alleged look, so I did a picture of her face on the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Um... Then she it's claimed. Crying. Then she claimed I'm an R incel edge lord neckbeard. That I'm a weeaboo and I collect swords and don't know how to use them, which was also really adorable. Like she was clearly just trying to throw things at the wall, hoping one thing would stick, and it just did not work. <sighs> I also love that Fluffy is right now accusing you of being a bigot on Twitter. I'm a bigot because I used a racial slur regarding my own race. How not... terrible of me. Oh, oh, uh, a fucking brown man reclaiming slur? Oh, that make him racist. He allied to white supremacist. I am four years old, and this is how I think the world works. You know, I'm not even sure the etymology of this phrase. I don't know if it came from white racial statements or if we just made fun of ourselves and it became that. I really couldn't tell you. Well, either way, if it's, like... If, if it's a word used for the ethnic group you're a part of, you have a right to reclaim it. Just like 
since I'm non-binary, trans, and pansexual, I'm allowed to reclaim the word queer, I'm allowed to reclaim the word faggot or dyke because I'm femme-leaning and because I'm AFAB, I have a right to reclaim slurs that affect the group I'm in. It's basic sociology. You could study queer theory at the shitty community college you go to, Fluffy. Most community colleges have a queer theory class. Just just sit down, learn a little bit of history, why don't you? You fucking... Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send you... Let's see here, on... Not the group DM, but, uh... Here are the two terrible words that I said to her. Oh, one more. Uh... There's three. Three horrible words I said. Okay, one of those three is just a Spanish word, so I don't even think that counts as, like, a reclaimed slur. That's just a word it's, in your language. It's what the word means in the context. Hmm. All three of these are perfectly reasonable things for for you to reclaim. I don't see any problem here. But she does because she's grasping for straws to make Leo Man bad, which, you know, I've had weirder straws grasp that. You know, I bully kids online, apparently. Which isn't necessarily untrue. I do bully Step, but he has it coming. Yeah, Step's a 12-year-old Nazi. He deserves all the bullying he gets. But yeah, I don't see a problem here. Like... The old man bad. You have to understand. The old man bad. If you uh, understand that, you understand it all. The old man bad. Fucking... This bitch is 26. Fluffy is 26 years old. You are three years older than me, bitch. You should have your life together by now. Why are you... Why do I have my life more together than this time? Because you're not a complete moron? I know people who would disagree with that statement. I'm sure they would. But then you point them to Fluffy and their opinion will change very quickly. Hey, look, this person is way dumber than me. Exactly. I also heard that Fluffy fucking ran out of barrel because everyone was being too mean. Uh, yes, apparently Fluffy wanted a one-on-one -on -one VC and then found out people might be listening in. And apparently somehow that makes me a coward who needs backup. So then I tagged her multiple times like, hey, what time do you want to do the VC? Then she never responded to that. That's when she started talking to Monstrous. And then after she did her last post on Twitter that I posted in here, I just started spamming her like, hey, pussy, 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 pussy. And she ran away. So I noticed that she's in the... Uh, zoo file police discord so i removed all of her roles and i made a i made an announcement that said that she's a pussy <laughs> uh, i bet the guys in there really found that fun well i mean they don't know about the latter part but uh, they don't need to either <laughs> you do know that we are live and you just admitted to that live right yes I'm also well aware they're probably not watching. Fair enough. I just... I figure if Fluffy's gonna make a video about me and Monstrous, I might as well... And what? Her, her, what, her three subscriber channel? Yeah. No, she's gonna try to punch up. I might as well punch back, bitch. Like... She's been stalking me for a few weeks now. She's tried to harass my friends, my loved ones. Tried to damage my company. Tried to join in the crusade that Button started against me. Tried to get involved in the Zufile Police server. And is now blaming me for Bellana committing fraud. So that she could have access to the Zufile police Twitter. Even though I didn't, I was not in charge. I was a new recruit when Bellana joined, and Bellana had been lying about her age for years. Like literal years. I had nothing to do with it. And I'm just stuck on how one person could contain so much stupid. Like, shouldn't, shouldn't she have hit critical mass by now? No. Stupidity is much like the universe. Possibly infinite. Uh, 
Well, unless anyone has any stories they want to share about this bitch or about buttons, uh, I think that's all we really had to talk about today. Yeah, but I'm waiting for a calzone to be delivered so I can get something to eat before bed. Fair enough. Hellboy? Yes. Did he leave? Did he leave already? Oh, he's muted. Hellboy! Get back in the call so you can say goodbye to the people! Hellboy, get back in the call so you can say goodbye to the people! <laughs> Leo, did you just fucking fart? No, no I went... <laughs> What's really fun is when you're sitting in barrel call and everybody's kind of quiet and not paying attention and you go, and they freak out. Leo, I'm wearing headphones. My ears are bleeding. Hi. And that's why you do it. Hey, oh boy, we're about Sorry. To... Is, is everything okay? Uh, no. No, nothing is okay. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Well, uh, my mom's not exactly too keen on me going to Boston, and it's been an emotional roller coaster for the past two days, and she's been clinging to me like static. So I thought it would be a bright idea to tell her, Mom, can you please just give me some space today? And it drove her off the deep end, so now she's just angry at me. And yeah. I'm sorry, man. So I just had to get done with a screaming match regarding that shit. And also, it doesn't help that her boyfriend is being shitty and proxy. So. Dude, I'm sorry that happened. We were we were just closing off the stream. I needed to explain the situation. No, it's, it's okay. To a friend that I'm on a call with. Well, I kind of had to because I walked away in the middle of conversation. It's not more important. It's just not being rude. Oh boy. It's okay if you have to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Well, I mean, the stream is ending, so... Oh, well, does that mean the call's gonna end? Or? I mean... Well, I mean, I'm probably gonna hop off because I need my calzone. I mean, oh, it, okay. if you um, want me to stay because of what you're dealing with, I can stay. I mean, I would stay and help more, but I am dead tired. It's I gotta right, be up man. early tomorrow. You go get your kill zone I, and go to bed, old man. I hunger for Calabunga. <laughs> Later. Alright, I guess I'll, I'll end the stream on that note. Holy shit.